Hi, welcome Ira and AD. Thank you for um, letting us screen the first couple of clips of your short fast feed. I know that you're withholding the sort of the full short for hopefully bigger festivals next year, which hopefully you'll get into because it's a great film. Um, am I, I mean, first of all, actually, could you tell us a little bit about the film and your ideas, you know, why you came up with it? Um, well, I think that we, um, obviously going through the time that we're going through, me and AD had wanted to work together for a while um, and we knew that we were both interested in um, playing around with the ideas of um, social matters. Um, and he, originally the idea came from uh, a, a thing of like, where are we going to be in the future in terms of technology with in terms of the next generation and my daughter and how parenting changes and the, the diff difficulties with all of that and then it started to slightly change once we got in the studio and playing around um and you know what we were going through through this period um with in terms of politics um, po um the kind of polarized views uh, in politics and how that's affecting our generation and everyone at the moment um and we've you know we've worked with physically a lot uh, me and graham um through many years so we we wanted to bring this kind of physicality to um something that it has a uh yeah like has a um uh, is is having an impact or is is relating to um social matters that that we're seeing all the time that's having an impact on us um so that's kind of how it first came about. And we were more kind of based in doing theatrical um, uh, um, performances, but we wanted to try and we were interested in doing film. We've always been very interested in film. And so we wanted to kind of play around with how we could bring a theatricality, um, but it filmed spe specifically for film rather than it's filmed on stage um and you just film it it's actually made it for like a kind of immersive um viewer um that was kind of also the idea behind it um i don't know that's kind of first initial but maybe yeah. you can say a bit more yeah maybe i mean everything you said but maybe also a big part of it was the idea of um exploring how um politics at least feels or appears to be more divisive than ever before so there is no gray area anymore it feels like you cannot be in a gray area um you have to pick a side or pick a um kind of a stance of what you believe in um so we were kind of that kind of grew the idea of the concept to how it kind of goes from one voice or kind of circumstance to another um and yeah, we were kind of interested in that kind of these polarized ideas and how one person can embody polarized ideas and how you can be kind of um, in conflict or contradict your own self. So that's kind of, that's where our kind of idea started. And then, yeah, always the same thing that we both knew that the format was going to be film um, and yeah, experimenting with how this concept can play out on film. So I think that's that's where we started, and it's kind of where we're at somehow. Yeah, it, kind of, it kind of moved over a time. I think I think we were thinking it very being we wanted to show, um, like what Graham was saying, that how you have to pick a tribe, and you're either on the left or you're on the right. And so we were kind of and we and that's why we kind of used like the black and the white, like the the white shirt, um, and the 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 black background and a black hoodie we wanted this kind of black and white point of view as well as what left and right and you know so it was that was kind of the idea we were playing with originally but then as we went on to develop it further into the actual short we realized that we wanted to people were um like even though you think you are one party or one view um, you, you know, a lot of people are contradicting themselves. So they say one thing, but then they completely contradict themselves. And that kind of mixture, um, a, a very good example to that is someone like Kanye West. 
who potentially is coming across, you know, a lot of his albums he 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 talked about was about you know black oppression um and and moving forward as a, as a black people in you know an african american but then at the same time he's saying that donald trump is the greatest thing even though donald trump he wants to build a wall and not let any any you know um other people coming into the country and is racist frankly so this kind of polarized view in one person became oh this is quite interesting um so w- that was also a thing that we went down that it wasn't we tried to also find the gray area within the black and white um also to challenge ourselves as well i felt like me as an artist and ad i'm sure we felt there were certain things were like, oh okay i don't quite know where i stand on this where i think initially we're like yep yeah, yep yeah, you know um, and that's been interesting for us to learn on the journey of making this. Yeah, because it's quite, because obviously fast feed as well, it's sort of about the fast feed we get, social media, and we're bombarded with all this information. And obviously then, you know, lots of people don't really know where they stand. But obviously, in some ways, it, it can be really positive. And particularly this year, I think, you know, um, in terms of how it's kind of helped with the BLM movement and you know connected people in that way it can be you know how do you feel about because obviously the the full short shows kind of um the subject's kind of mental breakdown I guess um as he's bombarded with this kind of social media but do you see that there are any positives as well how do you feel about that in social yeah. positives in social media hmm. yeah I think yeah, I mean, I think the connective nature of social media and that you can um, find people that have similar interests, issues, um, I think that social media is incredible for that, that people are able to kind of, you know, find other people to connect with in, in relation to whatever it is that they um, yeah, are looking for. Um, so I think that's where the, the amazing part, you know, like you can be anywhere in the world and if you have access to some kind of social media, you can probably find somebody else that has an interest like you. Um, so that's the good part on my side, but then it's, yeah, I think that it's so easy to get, um, overwhelmed by the negative aspects of it, actually, especially right now, because I think that we're almost like guinea pigs for these, um, the majority like big american corporations that are running these social media networks and and nobody really knows the the real effect and damage we all know that it's it's somewhat damaging but i don't think we know to the exact extent right now so yeah i think obviously there's always positives and negatives but yeah it's um i'm not sure how how much good but uh i also use social media so yeah (laughs) Yeah, and, and that's the thing of, of promotion is a massive thing with social media. Um, like AD has, is also this photography work and he uses it, which has also catapulted him. And also, you know, fundraising for actually this film, we've had to use social media a lot, which I found quite difficult because it's, it's, it, it, it feels also um, like ironic that we, this is what the film's about, but then actually we're using it so yeah, it comes back to what we were saying before about it not being, nothing's black and white and nothing's neg- negative, positive. It's, it, it's, it's, it's um, you've got a mixture all the time. And so, yes, there are positives with social media, of course, finding connection, feeling like you're not alone in terms of either it being a movement or feeling like you're not the only person going through something. Um, and especially through this time having the connection but I think that we can you can it's very easy to fall into a um a, a, a false sense of security where you feel like you're connecting but actually you're disconnecting you feel like you're getting closer to someone or a, a people but actually potentially you're getting further away because you're not actually connecting them in the real world and so that's and then things get more confusing because you have false information that comes through social media 
And actually, you don't know where you lie. You don't know what your view is anymore. It's really hard to decipher to all of this information, essentially, that we're getting thrown at all the time. And we have to filter and go, do I want that? Oh, is that right? Oh, let me go on Twitter and see what they've said about it. Oh, but then there's 100 people and I'm really behind. Uh, I don't know where. And so it just, it, 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 yeah, the clarity is really, really difficult. And I think that as a, as a nation, it's really, it, it, we're, it's, we're kind of the first generation of social media at this level. And so, like Graham said, we don't know the impact of this. Maybe years to come, we actually know the true impact of it. Yeah. Um, it works really well as a short, and obviously as an aside, it should encourage people to go and um, watch the full short, which they can go by um, paying through your Indiegogo, which is obviously helping to fund a feature. And my question is sort of, how, how do you see the feature working? Is it going to be quite similar to the short? Or will it be completely different, but along the same themes? Um, I think, yeah, it's hard because we don't want to give too much away. But um, there'll be, it's, in, in essence, there's, there'll still be a huge part of the concept that's out in the shorts. But the, the feature will be extremely different in some respects. It's still dealing with the same, um, same topics and content, but it is... Uh, it is and will feel like a, a completely new film, um, a very different film in in tone, maybe if, throughout the whole feature. But there will be elements that you see in the short, and the short um, we made originally as a kind of a test for certain parts of the feature. So even though, yeah, kind of it works as a short in its entirety, it, it wasn't really our, our intention in the initial. It was more of like um, we kind of approached it as like a, a test shoot, um, but the the test shoot just kind of kept developing, and then eventually we were like, okay, we've got something here. Um, but yeah, which is and we work in this kind of like improvised experimental way as well. So some of it was planned. Let's say like half of the short was planned, but half of it we were. Um, researching, choreographing, rehearsing, and filming as we were going. Um, so it's it's kind of like we, we, we're kind of, or I am especially, I love working in this not knowing um, place, um, which is when it comes to the feature is going to be quite different because we've got to kind of really work in a knowing place, but find room for what we're, we're good at. And I think we're both good at... Um, improvising around themes so we need to find a way that we can still incorporate some of that but sticking with a very um thought out feature from start to finish um yeah i i completely agree the only uh, the thing that i could say broadly without giving too much weight in terms of the the difference between the short and the feature all those things that ad said but also um, I think that the short is very much a, a quick, hard-hitting, political, um, kind of artistic piece of uh, film. Yes, the feature will be um, kind of an artistic film still, but obviously the duration, of, if it being longer, changes how you feel about um, the, the issues or about the film. It, it just elongating. Plus. Um, I feel like the feature is going to be much more going through and following the, the character. So it's more about what the character is going through rather than what, what um, the, the kind of feeling of the artist kind of um, um, reflecting off, off social matters, if that makes any sense. It's very much rooted within the character's eyes and the, the depth of the character and what they've been going through. Um, so that would be my, my, my kind of say on that, really. Um, I write in thinking, I read that you actually first came up with the idea a decade ago. Not, think, not yeah, kind so. of. So we, we've been speaking for, well, I mean, we've been friends for, for almost 20 years now. Um, but yeah, we, we went to school together 
um, went to dance school together actually um, in our previous life and uh, and then we went on quite ended up going quite different ways in our career but at some point quite early on after leaving um, school or university we we started talking about we should do a project together and this conversation kept going and you know we've always been very like we, when we talk we talk about politics all these things so there's always been something brewing um and then yeah in the past two years that conversation really started taking more of i think just where we're at in our lives now mm. we decided okay it might be possible now that we actually could focus or put aside a bit of time to start to focus on um like refining and channeling an idea together um and then we had, we yeah we started researching we had a two-week research or actually a week and a half in sweden um i'm kind of based in sweden and denmark i kind of float between the two um but yeah so we we, we did this early research at the start of this year last week of january first week of february and then um we made this concept um which is actually the two scenes that you saw tonight were in the original concept we made and then covid hit um we suddenly had a lot of time on our hands that was unexpected um and then yeah we managed to get a little bit more funding that we could actually okay let's really do this for real um, and it's probably good to say sorry to jump in but it's probably good to say that when um yeah covid hit and then um george floyd the murder of george floyd happened in march or uh, june that time and um that had a massive impact um especially i really felt it that that week and i i think i felt like i wanted to do a bit of some something some kind of work it felt like i needed to say something and I, then i had I, something came to my mind of going right like why don't we released the Trump clip that felt kind of apt and we'd already made it. And then AD, you know, um, separate to me, messaged me saying, should we release just the Trump clip? And I was like, I was thinking exactly the same. And so we released that and the impact of that with through social media, um, again, um, we was, um, it, it had a big impact on lots of people and we had an amazing response, um, incredible response, which also gave us, the kind of fuel and the desire and the, the, the kind of the immediacy of d doing the project now. So that's, and then we were lucky enough to get a bit more funding to, to then, to move it forward and, and make the short. Um, yeah. If I could just jump in there, because we're getting uh, some warning messages that we've got to wrap up. Um, because you mentioned funding, so everyone can get on board uh, with this project by going to the Indiegogo and um, pledging to get uh, to see the full short. Um, and I presume then it's a case of them following your journey. How how best can people help? help yeah, or, or follow you, support you. Well, I think that so the actually the Indiegogo campaign is in what they call in demand at the moment. So we were actually ran a successful Indiegogo campaign. Um, and that was to raise enough money that we could go away and work with uh, a couple of screenwriters that we want to work with. Um, but now it's running in demand. So yeah, we, it was amazing that we reached this goal and um, raised some money, but to make a feature, obviously it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we need a lot more money <laughs> basically. So we, we're looking at other ways of in, um, getting investment, but. Yeah, we left the Indiegogo campaign up running that people can still come in and support us. You still get to see the film um, for six euros or more <laughs> if you want to see the film. Um, and yes, you can find us on social media, <laughs> um, at Fast Feed Films on Instagram. Um, and then through that, you could probably find Ira and myself. We have our individual... Uh, Instagram and Twitter accounts um, where you can keep up to date and if you support the Indiegogo we will keep people up to date with kind of campaign updates and yeah where we're at and when we're back in the studio etc so lovely because I imagine that sort of the more support you get 
uh, at the ground level, that means that the more you can show to people above, then to, to carry the project through. So, it's um, just exactly I, that. Yeah, that's that's um, the big thing: reaching those people that are kind of above us, I suppose. <laughs> um, well, um, I think we're going to be thrown off in a moment. So, um, um, thank you very much for um, sharing the the Trump clip, the sneak peek of the uh, of the Greta uh, clip as well. Um, I urge everyone to go to the Indiegogo to have a look at the full short because it it, it does um, need viewing. Um, and thank you very much for, for, for joining us. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys.